Today we're going to talk about our latest addition to our fuel injection line, our ProFlow 3 EFI system. This system is available for many popular domestic V8 applications and features our self-learning technology. Our ProFlow 3 EFI systems are the most affordable and complete fully sequential port injection style EFI systems on the market. Each kit features an Edelbrock intake manifold that's been designed, cast, and manufactured in the USA. The manifold is tested and assembled right here at our factory at Edelbrock. It features all the sensors you would need for a fuel injection system and also comes fully assembled like you see it here. Each assembly features a 1000 CFM 4150 style throttle body, a universal throttle bracket for a simplified installation, all the sensors needed for the EFI system, and fuel rails, injectors, and fuel crossover hose that have been pressure tested here at Edelbrock to ensure for a safe installation. Also included in this kit is a high quality made in USA wiring harness. This harness includes OEM style connectors and is clearly labeled to make for a simplified installation, as well as Edelbrock's ProFlow 3 distributor. This distributor's unique design provides the ECU with necessary information needed to make this fully sequential with programmable ignition control. Finally, the heartbeat of the system is our ECU. This ECU is made right here in the USA from high quality mil spec components. What's unique about this system is the ECU communicates via Bluetooth with an Android device. This Android device can be your own personal smartphone or tablet. If you don't have an Android device, we offer complete kits that include a 7-inch tablet. In addition to everything you see here, we also provide you with everything needed for a complete installation. This includes detailed installation instructions and a user manual. Should you run into some problems, we have a dedicated staff available Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, to answer any of your questions. Now that we got you familiar with the hard parts of our system, let's check out the eTuner app and go take a ride in the car. I'm sitting in Vic Edelbrock's 1967 Chevelle with our 555 crate engine with ProFlow 3. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the eTuner app to set up a calibration. So the first step is to select the setup wizard. This is a basic information screen. We haven't selected the calibration yet, so we're going to hit the start the wizard to start the process. In this screen, we're going to enter our cubic inches. In our cases, it's 555. In this next screen, we're going to select the proper cam profile. In this screen, we're going to select the fuel system. With this power level of this vehicle, we only have one option. Next, we would select the injector size. And again, for this system, for this vehicle, we only have one option. Next, in this screen, we would select the proper intake manifold type for the kit that we purchased. Based on the information we just entered, the system is now going to load the proper base map. At this point, we're ready to start the engine. Now we have to verify ignition timing. We need to set the actual ignition timing to 12 degrees. So now that ignition timing has been verified, we can now unlock timing. In this screen, we need to set our idle speed. For this application, we're going to set it to 850. In this screen, we need to calibrate our TPS sensor, keep our foot off the throttle, it should be at 10 degrees. Our setup is complete, and now the calibration is being saved to the eTuner app. Now the setup is complete, we're going to take you out for a ride and try how the rest of the eTuner app works. This is the eTuner main menu. Before we get going, let's verify a few parameters. We want to take a look at our air fuel ratios. These look good, they're rather conservative, but it'll work for now. Let's take a look at our ignition advanced curve. This all looks good. Let's hit the road. This display shows us some of the basic functions of the eTuner app. We can see our vacuum, our coolant temp, and our air fuel correction ratio. We can see with the green lights, the self-learning is currently on. The key is to have the air fuel ratio and the air fuel ratio set points even. When those two are even, the system is working ideally. So let's take a look at some of the other eTuner displays. Let's check out the digital display. As you can see with the digital display, there's a lot more information. It's not as graphic, but it gives you a lot more details. The EFI dashboard is the next display. This is similar to the other, just the first eTuner display we saw, but just a different layout. It's all about preference. You can choose whatever display you're more comfortable with and what information you want to see. We're going to go back to the eTuner display. While we're driving, let's give you an example of some of the adjustments you can make with the eTuner app. Go back to the home menu, advanced tuning, air fuel ratios, 
So we're on a long drive, we want to improve our fuel economy. So what we're going to do is we're going to lean out our air fuel ratio from 3.8 to 14.2. Once that's done, we hit finish and it's that easy. Let's take a look at a few more adjustments we can make in the advanced tuning menu. We've already looked at air fuel ratios. We can adjust acceleration fuel. We can also address the fan controls and AC idle kick in. We can adjust fuel modifiers. We can also adjust our cold start enrichment by raising and lowering the value. We can also adjust our crank fuel. We can adjust the rev limiter. And the great thing about this is we can make these adjustments and we can always step back if something doesn't work how we want it to or the car doesn't like it or the engine setup just doesn't really work well. We have the option of stepping back and revising that change. You're never really locked into being stuck with your tune. You can always make these adjustments on the fly and fine tune your ride.